Okay, so first off, take take a deep breath. Breathe with me. Breathe in. And breathe out. And now, now make it a prayer. Breathe in, and as you breathe in, invite in the Spirit of God, God's joy, God's peace, God's grace and beauty. And breathe out everything else. Breathe out your fear, your, your failures, your faults, your sin, your, your anxiety. Breathe in and, and breathe out. God is here with us. And we're finishing up our reflections on the Apostles' Creed, so I invite you to say it with me one last time. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended to the dead, on the third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I believe in the communion of saints. A couple of months ago, I, I took a spiritual retreat at, at a Catholic retreat center. And I, I spent a little bit of time in, in their library there, and it was filled with, with biographies, books on the lives of, of saints. It was by far the biggest section in, in, the, in the library. And then I thought of the libraries that, that I'm more familiar with, the, the library in my own study, the library of most Protestant churches and, and, and places filled usually with commentaries and theology and devotionals and, and inspirational writings. But this one was filled with the lives of the saints. Not that there's anything wrong with, with commentaries or theology or, or anything like that, but, but I kind of like the Catholic way. Ours can make it seem like all God really cares about is how we think or, or getting the right ideas in, in our, our head. But the lives of the saints, this reminds us that God, God wants us to practice this, to, to live it out. I believe in the communion of saints. I'm reminded of Ignatius of Loyola, Saint Ignatius now. He grew up in the 1500s, and he, he dreamed of becoming a, a soldier, a warrior, a, a knight. And then he took a cannonball to the leg, and that shattered his leg and shattered his dreams. So disappointed, devastated, and, and bored during months and months of surgeries and recoveries, he wanted something to, to keep him entertained. So he asked for books. Books he wanted of, of knights in shining armor, of the hero saving the day, the kind of thing that he had always dreamt of. But they didn't have any books like that. All they had were books on the life of Jesus and the lives of the saints. So he was bored enough that, that he read them anyway. I mean, he didn't have anything else to do. And what he, what he found was that his dreams began to change. Instead of wanting to become a, a knight, a soldier, a, a warrior, he st started to want to, to live like Jesus. Be what he saw and, and read in these people in the lives of, of the saints. They showed him that, that this Jesus life was, was possible. And it started to fill him with, with a peace and a joy and, and love that, that he had never known. It, it was the good life. He wanted to, to live like them. I believe in the communion of saints. I'm guessing you're not really here on, on this stage of, of your faith journey because of books that you read. Or really even because of videos or, or, or sermons like this. You're probably here at this 
stage in your faith because somebody lived out their faith. Maybe it was somebody that, that you knew well. Maybe it was someone that you barely knew at all, but, the, but there was something different about them. My own life is filled with, with people like this. My mom and my dad, Scott, Carrie, Marty, Dave, Drew, Cecil, Calvin, Judy, Betty. There's so many names and, and faces come to mind. And then there's lots of people that I've never met, but, but their lives have profoundly uh, affected me. Oscar Romero, Desmond Tutu, Dietrich Bonhoeffer, Teresa Lizzo, G.K. Chesterton, uh, Henry Nouwen. I thought the list really goes on and on. People who, who treated scripture a, a, as a script, not something to just be studied, but something, something to be acted out, to, to live into, took the challenge of following Jesus seriously and literally gave of themselves, loved deeply. I not only believe in the communion of saints, I would say we, we need saints. I've been struggling during this whole series on the Apostles' Creed to, to find the, the right words to say, good ways to, to express these, these concepts, the, the Apostles' faith. But what we really need is, is people who practice it, who stretch their imaginations, who, who give a stab at actually trying it, who, who show us what it's like to live this out, who live as though God created us and them and, and everything. Not only created, but, but loves them and us and everything as a perfect father should. Loved us enough to become one of us, to live and, and die with us. People who, who live as though it's only Jesus' judgment that matters, who are open to the Holy Spirit, who, who create communities, who forgive sins, who are looking for resurrection and, and redemption, all of their lives caught up in God's story, not their own little stories. We live in a culture where almost every product has some celebrity selling it. Deodorant, cars, pizza, soft drinks, beer, fast food, insurance, tequila. These celebrities luring us with their, their beauty, their, their supposedly perfect lives. Be like us is the message. All you have to do is buy this or, or, or get this brand or, or do that and you can, you can be like us. Saints, saints show us the beauty of following Jesus, of loving, of forgiving, sharing. It's not that they have flawless skin or, or, or well-sculpted or photoshopped bodies. It's not that they have fancy real estate or exceptional portfolios. They're much more real than, than any of that. In fact, in most cases, saints, saints don't quite fit in. They're a little odd. They go against the, the flow. They, they don't do anything to draw attention to themselves, not on purpose. They're strange, just like Jesus. Beautifully, thankfully, graciously different. It's not that saints are perfect. And anything more than a surface reading of, the, of their lives will show you that. Perfection isn't a requirement. It's more that they're, they're all in. All they have and all they are given, given to Jesus. Go wherever Jesus calls them to go. There's, there's a story in scripture that, that illustrates this. It's in all four gospels. The, the characters are a little bit different in each gospel, but the story itself is essentially the same. Jesus comes to a dinner and, and a woman shows up with, with a jar of oil. Not just any oil, really expensive, fragrant perfume. And she pours it on Jesus. Thousands of dollars of this stuff, but she doesn't care. It's Jesus. Grace and life and, and beauty and perfect love. He's worth it. It's worth it. 
She, she pours it all out and it says that the, the whole house is filled with the fragrance of this offering. That's what makes a saint a saint. That's what separates them from most of the rest of us. Uh, we, we live such, such busy, structured, maybe budgeted lives. We work, we play, we retire, we save. We take the kids around, we volunteer maybe a little bit. If there's, if there's things left over, well then maybe we give some of that to God. But saints say, I, I surrender all. My life, my possessions, my time, my energy, whatever I have, whatever I am, it, it's yours, Jesus. Breathe your spirit through me. This is real life. I surrender all. They they pour it all out. The word here in in this part of the creed, communion, means sharing. Like the apostles shared all that they had, all their resources together in, in the book of Acts. Sharing, generosity, fellowship. The saints have shared their lives, their faith with us, giving all that they have, giving all that they are, pouring it all out. They're inviting us to join in. It's it's our turn now. I believe in the communion of saints. Would you pray with me? Lord, make us, shape us into saints. Pour your spirit on us and make us the people that you want us to be. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness. May he protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he's shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again to our door. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.